Hi, Beek. How are you? Hi. We're going to wait a couple of minutes, one more minute, and then we start. It's a one hour session. I will try to go through the, the slides I have prepared for you. And then I, I hope we have like 20 minutes of questions and answers. Hola, Maju. Hi, Sara. Hola. Hey, Sara. Hey, everyone. Hello. Maju, Sara, should, should I start myself or do you want to say something before? Happy to say hello to everybody. Um, yeah, thank you very much. Uh, thanks very much for coming. And um, yeah, thank you uh, so much um, for agreeing to run this uh, to run this session. Um, our uh, OBSN um, meetings are run in accordance with our safe space policy for video meetings. I will drop a link into the chat. Uh, just for the meeting link for this for this whole meeting on on Meta, and um, that has a full. Um, uh, outline of that policy and um, if there is anything under that policy during um, the course of the meeting that you would uh, like to bring our attention and um, then please uh, do let myself or Vic or Maggie know um, during uh, the during the course of the session and um, otherwise I shall hand over to yourself thank you really looking forward to this thanks hi everyone so just as Sarah said, we are here if something happens and also very glad to have this session with Carlo. It's, um, I think that it's the first BSN session that it's related to this topic. So I feel very <laughs> excited about it. So I think that we can start big. I don't know if you want to say something else, you're okay. So welcome everybody and Carlo. Thanks. Thanks uh, to the team, to the BSN team to, for the invitation. My name is Carlo Brescia. I'm from Peru. Um, I have been a, a Wikipedia volunteer since 2007. And um, since 2018, I began organizing Wikimedia activities here in Peru. And now we, we do this type of meetings and sessions uh, mainly for Latin America and the Latin American region. Um, I am an industrial engineer specialized in environmental management, but also I, I also studied a master in anthropology and also a, a master in project management in England. Uh, and the master in anthropology was in Belgium. And well, some people know me as an ethnobotanist and some other people know me as a filmmaker too. So I'm very happy for the invitation and um, we are, I have prepared something for you that uh, I'm going to share now. Um, so if you want to make questions, you can put them in the, the chat and in the last 20 minutes, we can answer them. It's a one hour session. Um, <clears throat> so the topic is how, how can do we, we do climate action in the Wikimedia movement? Yes. And these presentations comes from my own experience, my own passions, 
and and my my lessons learned uh, sometimes when when you enter um you want to do something in this challenging world you have to do exper experiments and pilots and we have done a lot of those here and sometimes we have succeeded sometimes we we didn't so i i am going to tell you what i think it has worked so uh, if you are here you are interested in this yes so this is a, a news a new from from last uh, from two, yesterday from the guardian and for the 10th consecutive month uh, we have reached uh, uh, records every last of the 10 months we have reached a new world temperature record um, for example global sea surface the average as the red line is 2024 the second line uh, i think it's green i'm i'm colorblind so there is a kind of red green line and it's from 2023 and the other that are in the blue um, light blue scope are from the last 40 years so yes we are breaking records of temperature also global surface anomaly anomalies uh, has also been high since the last uh, uh, four six years uh, so things are very very challenging now uh, glaciers are retreating uh, the intensity of storms um, we have biodiversity loss, uh, sea level rise, ecosystemic collapse, many things, many problems. So this is happening right now. We, we are in a climate emergency. Uh, I am not saying this, but all the the United Nations and the scientists specializing in this are saying this. So. This climate crisis worsens heat waves, droughts, wildfires, and floods. And, and this is happening everywhere, in Australia, in South America, in, in North America, in Europe, in Africa, in Asia. And this also generates the food prices to rise, the, the water availability and the water quality is falling. <clears throat> and also climate migration is increasing and social conflicts and political unrest are deepening. This is part of, of all, all these changes that have been happening in the last uh, decade or decades. So does the Wikimedia movement has a role in climate change knowledge, communication, education? Yes, of course. Um, we are a, an open, we're a movement that uh, manage and and uh, construct, develop, do maintenance on collaborative projects that are open, free, neutral, verifiable, and collaborative. And this goes be beyond um, each language. Sometimes someone creates an article in, in the Wikipedia in French or German or, Sp or Spanish, and then it gets trans translated into the English Wikipedia. So the loss of biodiversity, the climate crisis and pollution generate changes that affect millions of people who seek to understand the best way to adapt and contribute to building healthy, clean and sustainable social and environmental environments. There is a, a human right, the right to a clean, sustainable uh, and healthy environment that was declared three years ago it's, it's a human right now. So every year we, we run this campaign on from April to June, the Wiki for Human Rights, and we're focusing on this. I, I have been participating in the organization of activities of this campaign, in this Wikimedia campaign, annual Wikimedia campaign, to tackle this. So our lessons learned come, come from also this. 
uh, I am one person of, of a, a big community that is working on this. So having an encyclopedia with updated knowledge that is neutral, evidence-based, and open is vital for individuals and communities to educate themselves and make informed decisions in the short, medium, and long term in the face of the changes they confront at the local level. So if someone wants to know about something about the climate, uh, an oil spill, a law, an, an international agreement, he Googles and the, the ideal the ideal thing is that he can find this information in his language or her language. What type of Wikimedia activities are the best to narrow gaps related to climate change? The pictures you see here are for are from a climate, a, an environmental justice course we organize in Cusco. I will tell you more about this in, in a case study. Um, so we have off wiki act, Wikimedia activities, uh, thematic courses like the one I have just mentioned, a course about environmental justice and Wikipedia. And we have editatons, we, we gather, you know, all these. We have photo walks, we have organized photo walks to document in photography the, the maintainings the the these um, residues uh, of mining activities that are left in, in next to rivers that poll pollute them. We also have run photo contests. Uh, we have uh, promoted the the upload of photos that are related to pollution, to oil spills, to contamination, to. Uh, also climate adaptation activities. We also had a Wikimedian in residence, two Wikimedians in residence in Peru that were uh, developing articles and, and improved, improving them related to climate justice. We also had GLAMS. There are some institutions that have been documenting a glacier retreat that we we are promoting them to, to liberate their images to show how glacier retreat in the Andes are is happening. Also, gap mapping is is we have content gap, content gaps. There are articles that exist, there are articles that don't exist, and there are articles that, that uh, need to be updated and developed in a way that is 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 updated. So uh, this has to do with with that identifying articles that need to be improved and articles that need to be created. Also, building alliances is a very important um, uh, activity for us. When we join an, an organization, public or private, an NGO, it also helps us to reach new audiences. Also, we have organized microfunding programs for people from the Peruvian community to present um, projects that we then select. We select in the last program, we selected seven and three were related to environmental issues. And we fund them with um, um, an amount of 500 US. And they have to apply in the same way they apply to a rapid grant. So we are also we are creating agency, improve, strengthening their agency, but also um, training them so they can apply uh, to these funds uh, eventually. In two weeks ago, uh, an organization from the Junín region in Peru applied to the rapid grant to do a. Um, heritage tree program. That is fantastic. That is our first uh, uh, seed that is is growing. Also, we we organize wiki camps. We join with people that share the same values and interests, and we we share and learn together and and improve articles, improve the platforms. On wiki, we also organize online editathons, the, the Wiki, Wiki for Human Rights campaign, the two months campaign, it's a on Wiki campaign, mostly. 
We also do content gap mapping. We also, um, uh, for example, in Wikipedia in Spanish and Wikipedia in English, and also in Commons, you can uh, make a picture to be a fit featured picture, and it will appear in the front page of Commons or Wikipedia, and more people will see this picture. And also translation of the week. There are some articles that are not not a uh, they're not. They're only in a few Wikipedia's, and then we put them in the translation of the week uh, meta page, so in order to be um, voted, so it can be translated into all the uh, uh, like ten more languages. For example, this is a, a picture of the of Europe of the forest in Europe from a, a satellite image, and I. Uh, nominated this image in the Wikipedia in Spanish uh, nomination page for fee featured pictures. And this is my past uh, um, uh, username, Severesia. Now it's different. So I presented, nominated this picture, and then other people voted. Uh, um to to be included in the in our featured pictures and then it was voted and then it was featured in the Spanish Wikipedia. And it's a picture that shows the deforestation too. Um and, and I uh, in the in the in the text of the image I I talk I put it a text that was about this that many trees in the forest of Bulgaria, Slovakia uh, Poland, Romania are being cut in order to to produce pellets, wood wood pellets that were going are going to be used as renewable renewable sources in Germany, Belgium, France, Greece, Italy, and Slovenia. And and this this is is for for these countries it is a um, a renewable uh, source. Despite it comes from forests that are are not a, a they are relict they are a native forests especially in in Romania there is an article of, of the New York Times that uh, talks about this so uh, for example in translation of the week if you don't know this meta page you can propose a candidate and it will be uh, voted. For example, two weeks ago, I presented this article, Seizure of the Black Hills. The United States government illegally seized the Black Hills, a mountain range in the US states of South Dakota and Wyoming, from the Sioux Nation in 1876. The land was pledged to the Sixth Nation in the Treaty of Fort Laramie, but a few years few years later, the United States illegally seized the land and nullified the treaty with the Indian Appropriations Bill of 1876. There are three votes uh, for a translation and one against. So the more votes it received, then this article that is only in the English Wikipedia, if it is uh, selected, it would goes up to the top positions, then it will be presented to be translated into Spanish, Italian, French, German, uh, all the all the other Wikipedias. So this is a way also to promote a climate change or or indigenous rights articles. Once there was someone that presented an article called Nikken Mining in Indonesia. And if you see the article, uh, it's a nice article, well referenced as a picture, the history, production, reserves, and the references. And then I voted against it. I said, no neutral article lacks any content related to the environmental and social impacts of, of the activity in Indonesia. If you look at nickel mining impacts, in Indonesia, there is a lot being said. So if this article wants to be translated, it has to be 
uh, it has to include a section about the environmental impacts. So, so I, I voted against it. Yes, I think that if you want to promote an article like this to be to be translated for all, all other Wikipedia's, you must uh, it must include a section of of uh, the impacts in order to be neutral. Because just like it is right now, it is promoting, it is showing that nickel mining is really excellent in Indonesia, and that is not the case. So it was uh, removed. Many people later. <laughs> voted against it because of, of that reason. That's a way to also to, to do climate uh, action on Wiki. So uh, now I'm going to present you um, a case. In this course we organized in Cusco, Peru. This uh, course, it was, it was about environmental justice and we organize it with Cooperacion. Cooperacion is an NGO that has to do with environmental justice. It, it does research and has a communication program and also organizes workshops in different parts of the, the country. And the project, the course was co-designed with Cooperacion. Not only it was designed by, by by me or by us, Wikiaction Peru, a, a Wikimedia project, but we discussed how to do it in the best way possible. So it was a free day course at in two universities uh, in Lima and in Cusco. So in order to to get the participants, we ran an open call. applied to this call. The native people, persons in Cusco and, and also the regions around wanted to go to this course, but we only had space for 20. So we had in this course, 20 articles improved, 32 articles created and 22 images uploaded. In Lima, the results were similar. So in, in two courses, uh, in two free days courses, we, we had like, 60 articles created in the Spanish Wikipedia and, and they were not translated from other Wikipedias. It was content created by Peruvians using uh, Peruvian uh, produced articles, scientific articles and, and, and news and more. So it was a, a really good resource, a, a result. The methodology. So we had in day one, we had day eight hours. It was a first day. So the first, we, we of course, did a presentation of a, an introduction to, Wiki, to the Wikimedia movement, an introduction to editing in Wikipedia. And the first task was to create an account. Task two is to create the user, your user page. Task three, to improve the article. And task four, to create an article, a really simple one. Yes, simple articles. When I say simple articles, I refer to rivers or mountains or lakes or community. Some articles that with just free uh, references, it is clear that they are relevant. Uh, on day two, we also taught them how to map the, each, each of the, the participants identified like five articles of the region to be created and also provided five references. And we did this in a Google Drive document. And we started task six, it says five, it, that it was to create an article that was more complex, like a biography or a, 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 a environmental case lawsuit or an assassination of an environmental defender. In this picture, you see the list of, of articles and next to them, the, the people. So it's a, it's, it's a, it's, it's a place. Yes, we, we're doing this in a university. So uh, I, there is a star next to each person. So it means that the person has created that uh, article. So it's like a, a shared space where we are all having fun and we are uh, doing things that are very important for, for us. 
And on day three, it was only the morning, four hours. It was the first task was to upload an image. And the last task was, was to create another. What he continued the, the improvement of the article of day two. Of course, the, it was created first in the in the taller, in the workshop area of, of of Wikipedia, not in the main pages of Wikipedia. You can see, uh, I think I have provided a link somewhere. Yes, in this link, you can see the, the course. I will share this presentation in Commons and I will send you the, I will put the, the in the BS in page, the link to this presentation. So this is the, the page of the course. We have, a, who is organizing this? Wikiacción Peru, us, Cooperacion, our partner and the university. And mainly where they were students that were studying or they have just finished studying their degree. So he ha we have here the, the every task one, create your user, your account and your user page. And everybody creates their enlist and creates their user page. They improve an article, they create an article, they uh, create another article and you can see all this here. So going back to the presentation, uh, I think it has been so successful that we are going to do three more in the next year. <laughs> one in Huaraz, one in Junin and one in Puno. And we also create community with, with these uh, participants. They, 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 some of them, they continue, not all of them, but maybe 10%, they, they continue to, to, to talk to us and also participate in virtual and, and in online and off, offline activities we organize. So what are the topics that relate to climate change? Uh, in this image, you see a lake that is, uh, we have satellite image images from 1987 to 2010. This lake is just uh, above the city where I am just right now. It's Huaraz, and this lake is Palcacocha. And this lake in 1941, um, it was, there was a discharge and destroyed one third of the city. And today, because of climate change, because this the, the volume of the water has increased like 10 times, now it has like 70 mi million cubic meters. If it if there's a, a, a fall of a big chunk of ice that falls into the lake, creates a wave and destroys the the dike, the dam, it will it will go and destroy one fifth of of this city where uh, where we are right now. So there is a an article about this, and there is a climate justice case about this. So, for example, in this image we see a, a scientific explanation of of the ecosystemic processes that are identify the warming world, humidity, sea level, uh, seasons coming early, uh, the glaciers are retreating, the temperature is increasing, the ice sheets are decreasing. All these are important topics, but also international agreements uh, like the Paris Agreement, national laws and programs of each country, of each region, organizations, public and private, NGOs, national, international, local, that have enough reference, that have enough time to be recognized as relevant, environmental awards, climate events, uh, all climate events, like the fire there was like two months ago in Chile, should also have a, a, a reference that 
the droughts that, that are causing the fires are, re are related to the climate crisis. Uh, and this is easy to be to to be found. Environmental defenders, oil spills, environmental uh, books and films. For example, in in Spain, there is a group called Futuro Vegetal, and they were doing uh, climate activism. They threw paint that is removable, removable to the judge of of uh, the daughter of a multimillionaire that owns um, a store in the U.S. Yes, and you consume others suffer is what is the, these activists are are putting. So there is an article about Futuro Vegetal in Spanish Wikipedia. Um, for example, I will show you the, the page. We're going to the wiki page. Uh, these type of organizations are relevant, relevant and they are doing civil disobedience but many governments are criminalizing them and civil disobedience is a democratic action so for example this is the page of the spanish collective futuro vegetal and there are for example uh, in in germany there is a organization called let's generation and in france Soulevamons de la Terre, and there are many others in, in, in other countries. So these can also have Wikipedia articles in order to, to inform the persons and, and fight these criminalizations that the governments and, and uh, deniers and, and oil companies, oil uh, actors are, are criminalizing them. So this is a topic, these activist organizations. Also, last week, The Guardian uh, published a, a, an article about uh, that 57 companies linked to 80% of greenhouse gas emissions since 2016. So each of these companies that have a Wikipedia page should have a section that talks about this. Yes, in order to be neutral, in order to 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 tell the whole the, the complete story of these companies. Other relevant topics are conferences, protests, court cases, companies, disinformation agencies, international days. There are many international days that are are not still are not in 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 many Wikipedia's transnational companies. I think that Carlo lost the connection, the internet connection. So we will wait a little bit. I'll just, I'll drop him a message just to see if everything's okay.
how do you Hey, we got you back. <laughs> Carlo, maybe if you want to turn off your camera and we can also turn our cameras so we allow you to come more internet, a faster internet. Okay, so I was talking about uh, this. There is a, a, a an organization, Eliminalia, from Spain that manages reputation and remove in, in news that are bad for the reputation of persons. And agencies. I think this is only Israeli contractor that also manipulates uh, elections, creates disinformation campaigns. This type of uh, company should be that we find in the, on the net. Also, troll farms are, are important. Uh, And also in the good side, we have Forbidden Stories, which is a non-profit organization that wants to uh, continue and publish the work of, of a journalist that have faced uh, threats, prison, or assassination. Forbidden... Uh, thanks. So, other articles that relate uh, how to manage this. Uh, sustainable agriculture, safe waste disposal, sustainable forest policies, all these are really good uh, topics. And climate scientists, climate adaptation, climate change, climate justice has to do with this. That there are, there are certain uh, knowledges, ways of the world that have been sub-represented due to a, a cultural hegemony by Western uh, culture, yes, uh, and also decolonization, indigenous organizations, traditional knowledge, restorative justice, all these, the climate crisis. We cannot, I believe that we cannot uh, uh, resolve the problems with the, the view or the culture that has created the problem. We have to, to learn from the past, learn from the traditional knowledge, bring this memory to, to the open platform to, to bring this memory back. How to plan and design climate change actions. Wikimedia platforms. Well, you project with the, um, there is, I, I organized, I participated in, in, um, in, um, session with uh, let's connect now so in this video in the link you you can see how to plan a project in, 
Uh, and it's uploaded. I have to research it, design, objectives, activities, budget, schedule. If you want to do an editathon, if you want to do a course, if you want to do a photo contest, a photo walk. All goes through this. Research to a new idea that is improved. And uh, where to look for new volunteers? Well, in Wig Acción Peru, we focus only in, in gender, ecology, and culture. We we only add address these topics because for us it is is a very difficult country. Not not many people they have access to internet. And there are many injustices, strange things, how they are. And this, you find them in the eco, in the, you have ecologists, you have feminists, you have uh, people that promote cultural rights. And, and these people who work online and they want to write and read and research, they are a, a good, um, a, A sector to look for, create an alliances and reach new new publics, stu uh, participants, students are are the, the young people studying environmental engineering, uh, sociology. There's a lot of students in universities that are interested in this. They are fighting for their future. Leaders, leaders, uh, they are like influencers. If, if you have an uh, indigenous leader that uh, uh, sees the importance of, of our volunteers, we have to legitimate, legitimate in Peru uh, the relevance of Wikimedia platform. So this is the now we have 50 minutes if you want to to ask a question i will see the chat but i think my 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 chat was okay so it's a basic presentation of what we're doing. I can talk. I can show you videos too. But if you have questions, uh, you're welcome. Uh, thanks, Stuart. Has a question? Yes. Hello, <clears throat> I have lots of questions. Um, it's really good presentation. Like the work you're doing is is really good and important. Um, Wikimedia UK, which both Sarah and I work for, we have um, climate and environment as part of our strategy. But it's um, yeah, it's tricky. It's a it's a bit it's a big subject. Um, so sometimes it's hard to know uh, w where to approach. Um, I have a I have some sort of possible upcoming project around biodiversity um, and spotting kind of gaps uh, relating to that, uh, focusing on on climate upcoming. So I'm interested in in some of the the work you've done in um, spotting uh, content gaps, uh, and I, I I think like a kind of question I have is. Where, where does the topic begin and end? Um, because obviously there is a, there are environmental aspects to everything. So we look at, at mining, you know, we can look at activist groups, activism itself. Uh, we can look at the, the articles about the, the environment itself. Um, and it, it's how do you, um, 
what do you think are good ways to kind of make delineations and uh, and focus or 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 is or is that not useful i don't know does that make sense uh, Can you repeat the last part? How do you? Um, I, I guess I just I just like you to speak a bit about you know choosing subject areas to work in, and what you decide you know to to not work on so much, or is it just just very open? Yes. How do we choose topics? Yes. Where are we going? to do this and what is the people demanding. For example, one year we organized uh, an editathon edit about Mount Carlo. Why don't we do also about the, the mine tailings? So the next year we, we did that. So we try to do the topics that relate to, to the groups and, and, and people uh, that their interests yes we we, we do it uh, we share we, we do it we choose the topics in a participatory way okay. uh, with with uh, people that like uh, species like birds insects we do photo walks we register uh, new species sometimes and, and medicinal plants so each each how do we choose topics depends on 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 the 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 people and also we we run surveys we we, we may send a um, a Google uh, survey form and make them choose what are their interests and that's how we we topics they have chosen what are we going to to work on. Yeah, it's, it's, we always say you you must edit what you are what you love. It, it, that's a way to to get volunteers. If you want to 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 get the the readers of your editathon. <laughs> so that that's how we choose. Thank you. Hilario, I don't know if you have a question or... Yeah, thanks for the question, Stuart. Hilario. Yes, second. Uh, yes. Um, it has been very interesting, I think, uh, um, everything, because also in Switzerland, we started just now this project very similar to that. And I see a lot of connection because... Uh, you know, we have this problem of Alps, so I think that uh, also in your country you have a similar project really connected with the climate change. So I don't have a specific question, I only think that uh, later I will <laughs> will get in touch with you to know more uh, more detail about this project. Um, I'm here because I'm, I'm not anymore community manager, so I have this project under innovation because the approach of the project is more um, innovative in the sense of innovation is more um, lesser connected with the data and more connected to identify this content gap. I see that is more uh, connected like that, but um, it's interesting. Um, only, only that, so no specific question. My, my connection is not good, but so there was no question. <laughs> Thanks. Um, there was a comment by Big, and yeah, if you have pages of companies, every company, if you exist, you pollute. So if you are a human pollutes, we consume and we generate waste, and the larger the companies, like a mining company, it pollutes more and, and it moves oil, it, it generates CO2. Uh, the, 
they remove earth. They, they have a lot of access. And sometimes they manage it, but in, in the majority of cases, they don't manage it. Manage it. it they externalize the impacts that are around or that are outside their, their uh, headquarters location. Uh, another question. Do you promote the articles written with this group outside of Wiki? Well, uh, uh, we we don't promote the articles. Um, once they are created, they, they are just there. And if, if people want to, to look at them, you, you will see on the statistics how many visits these uh, articles uh, are receiving. For example, Futuro Vegetal, I have a, a, an, a gadget installed that I can see how many people visited this this article in the last 30 days. Ley Antiforestal, it's an anti-forestry law in Peru. I can see a, it's a hot topic right now. So there should be like more than 1,000. And then you can see the visits. But there are other tools that let you analyze this in a better way. So, if the article is updated, uh, Jacqueline. Yes, thank you so much, Carlo, for this presentation. And I'm really glad that um, I'm trying to map the sustainable wiki movement in Latin America. And this is a great example of what uh, is being doing in in Spanish, especially, I'm interested in that because in my university, there's a... You can, you can reach me. Uh, I will put my email. I'm happy to... to answer questions and create alliances and more. We, we, we have to be a community, yes? The hegemonic paradigm is about individualism, rationalism. Um, and uh, lack of sensitivity. So we have to walk in a way with values of community, of, of creating networks, uh, not creating walls, but creating bridges. Yes, we are one family. As, as from the indigenous values, we are only one family. We believe we, we live. We are all sons and daughters of Pachamama. Mother Earth. And, and that's why it's important to, to decolonize and bring this memory back again. We have named a sustainable development reference. Okay. Thanks, Celine. So, Sorry, be uh, before everyone leaves or we are finishing, uh, we left in the chat this survey. It's very short and it's very helpful for us as a BSN team. So we'll be very glad if you can complete it. Sorry, Carlo, for the interruption. Oh, thanks. Uh, I will give this presentation next week, but in Spanish. Uh, I think it's at... It's 17 hours UTC. Yes. So, if, if you know someone that is, would be interested in this, it's, it, we'll do it again, but in Spanish. Yeah, it's, we have to be together. That's humanity. Yes. And and not only families, humans, and all things that are on this planet. Okay, thank you.
Thanks so much, Carlo. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Um, Thank you. I hope you enjoyed it and learned.